Haribo, and welcome to the 13th lesson of basic Madanga instruction. Today I'm going to teach you a mantra that is kind of a rolling beat. It's a rolling beat because you'll hear it once we start playing it. It rolls along. This is in a standard 4 beat meter, so uh, no worries about different timing issues. This is very simple. The mantra, I'm just going to dive right into it. The mantra is Da, ti da, ti da, de da, da. So actually, let me let me give you the mantra itself, not the extra bit. Da, ti da, ti da, de da. Again, that's da, ti da, ti da, de da. So that's an eight-beat mantra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Da, ti da, ti da, de da, da, ti da, ti da, de da. Okay. So this is again quite simple. Da, ge, and ta together. E, da, da, ti, da, ti, da. Okay. So ti is again called da, ti, da, ti, da. And then the variation at the end is de, da, de, da. Okay. Da, ti, da, ti, da, de, da, da. Okay, I'm going to play a couple of cycles of this, and you can play along or follow along. As you can see, it's quite simple. Da ti da ti da de da. Now, this is applied in. Uh, it's it's sort of applied when you go from a fast beat to a really fast beat, but you can't play it so fast anymore. So you kind of want to go into a more rolling style, so it's not as difficult to play. So if I'm playing like, let's say, I'm playing very fast. transition into this, this rolling beat. You go from a fast beat into a rolling beat just to keep it going. Now you can go faster and faster without having to, you know, break your fingers. Da, di, da, di, da, di, da, da. Okay. I'll show the application of that in a minute, but first I want to show you a, a, a slight variation of this. So the full mantra is da, di, da, di, da, di, da. But you can play a half variation, which is ti da de da. That's it. So that's just the second half of it, really. Ti da de da. So da ti da, ti da de da. Right. So if you would just play the last half of it, you can cycle that, and that becomes a variation. Ti da de da, ti da de da, ti da de, ti da de da. So it sounds like this. Okay, so now I've taught you da ti da ti da ti da and the last half ti da ti da, right? Now the different the different thing about this mantra is you have to pay attention to how it's accented and pay attention to how the volume changes. That's actually really important for this mantra, and I'm going to make that kind of a theme in a in videos moving forward. That you have to keep a crescendo. Okay, so the crescendo means in music. Crescendo is when you have a gradual rise in volume. Okay, so that means that when you begin the cycle, it should begin softly and then and then rise to a louder volume as you go through. Okay, it sounds a lot less. It's it's actually a little bit boring if you don't use this, but if you do, it sounds good and it has a, a, some level of dynamic excitement. So you start off soft and go and go louder like this. Make sure 
you always accent that initial da too? That initial da makes it, uh, if it stands out from the rest of it, then it really reinforces the beat. Okay, and the same goes for the half variation, which is ti da de da. So ti da de da. So I'll give you a, an application of the full mantra, da ti da ti da ti da, and then I'll give you an application of the half variation too. Hare Krishna. So that gives you a little bit of an idea, okay, how you can use this in Kirtan. I'll introduce one more variation for you, in case you haven't had enough already. This variation involves a little bit of ke. Okay, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit weird where you might put this in. It's not always in the same place. Let me give you an example. Kind of like that. So, <clears throat> in these basic lessons, I, I want you to learn these in a very strict format, the way I've been teaching in the past, which is follow the mantra that's presented and you know exactly try to match each bowl. But as we go forward, mantras are going to get a little bit more complex and require a, a little bit of an element of improvisation, a little bit of dynamic reallocation, reassignment of bowls in different areas that you didn't think you would use before. So in this case, I just added some, I added two Ks, which added kind of a stop. And it's not, it's, it's done every other cycle. So like this. Like that. And there's going to be other sorts of things like this in the future as the mantras get more com complex. But for now, if that's too difficult to follow, just go back to the beginning, which is the first mantra is da ti da ti da de da. That's simple enough. And then the second half of that, ti da de ti da de da. Okay? And remember, in these mantras, to try to keep that crescendo going from the beginning to the end, and especially the da that initializes the first beat of the new cycle, Make sure that da stands apart from the others in terms of volume. Da 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 So make it stronger than the rest of them. And if you do that, that really reinforces the beat. And in this one, it's easy to get carried away because it's a rolling beat and you just keep playing on and on like this. It's easy to get carried away in the tempo. Don't don't speed up. Okay? Practice this to the point where you can do it without speeding up. Da ti da ti da de da da ti da ti da de da da. Okay, it's easy to go da ti da ti da de da da ti da ti da de da da ti da, and run away with the tempo. Don't run away with it. Try to keep it steady. Da ti da ti da de da da ti da ti da de da da ti da ti da de da. So then, with this, you'll be able to add it to kirtan and add it as a transition out of a fast part of the kirtan to a more rolling part of the kirtan. Hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.